sort of bag which is made from uh, goat skin. I can see why she's the boss. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, it's good. No, 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 no. You're We're, not a real chef. You're not a real chef. Unless, unless you've you... cooked in the van. Mm. We're Marion and Chris, and we've been traveling full time since May 2018. Yeah! Whilst attempting to drive around the world in Trudy, our home on wheels, this happened. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. As borders closed around us, we decided to wait it out in Turkey until we were able to continue our adventure east. Welcome to Turkey! Today's video is sponsored by buyinturkey.com, but more on that a little bit later on. Good morning. This morning we have woken up in beautiful Kalkan with the blue seas behind me. Today we have something very exciting lined up. Marianne is just getting the van ready. Are you ready my sweetness? I'm ready. All the cupboards are closed. Nothing's going to fall on us. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go. We had so many positive comments about our cooking class uh, we had here in Calcan a few weeks ago that we contacted the chef to say, look, all of our followers want to learn some traditional Turkish recipes that could be cooked easily on two gas rings. So this morning we are going to meet back up with Hussein and he's going to give us a cook along in the van traditional Turkish food but what's more is I think we're also going to go shopping for some of the ingredients we'll explain the ingredients and uh, it's going to be a very fun day so we're heading up the road to uh, pick up Hussein okay chef Hussein I can see him <laughs> good night then how are you, my Good friend? Good morning. How are you, guys? <laughs> there you go. Welcome on board. Oh my goodness. The Trudy Is Express. That my new kitchen. That's your kitchen. Oh my goodness. I'll show you that later. <laughs> Trudy Express. We got. So we're going to go to your. We're going to start at your mum's. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have a uh, lovely Turkish coffee with my mom. I'm going to introduce you her. Is that so. at the family restaurant? Of course, that is uh, the place uh, which is the second generation, me and my sister, uh, oh. and plus my mother. Uh, Excited. Oh yeah, yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay, so let's go to the restaurant. There we go. There we go. Guru's place. Hello. Good night. This is my mom. This is your mom. Yeah. Oh. Fatma. Uh, <laughs> this is the lady that taught you to cook. Yes. She's Amazing. My She's my boss. She's the boss. Yes. This is the place, guys, where I, uh, which is the place where we live and where we run our life. Nice. Amazing. My family during the last 30 years. 30 years yeah, you've been now, here. You know uh, my new school in the center. Yeah. But uh, before that, it was here. Using here. You can tell it's a family that loves food because <laughs> there's just herbs, sage, some lettuce. Garlic. Rocket, oh, garlic. parsley, <laughs> mint, garlic, garlic. Uh, in the summertime, we get up there. Uh, so this normally opens. Normally, it's all yeah. open. Oh, nice fire! Yeah. Oh, Look at this; is amazing. <laughs> She's uh, my sister, Duygu. Ah, we have a. How cool are these little bottles they've got on display here? They've yeah, actually yeah. been like oh, melted yeah. flat with uh, decorative displays really nice is this where your old cookies oh all the cowbells yeah oh, so when you're ready you cook the food is ready you do this one and yeah. they come to get the food oh yeah it's genius 
So just the, uh, the ladies are working uh, in our kitchen. This is the principal. I was the only man who was cooking. Oh. So the principal in our uh, traditional uh, restaurant, local restaurant, just the local ladies are working. And, uh, they make a uh, dough now uh, for Turkish ravioli. We should call it. Oh, manti. So, oh, you're so making manti. Manti is our signature dish. at all they're actually making manti here and this is something so traditional we've heard about and we've seen a few times and even tried but we're going to get the opportunity to actually see them roll them out and make them so this is very exciting many years experience you need to cut like this well i was going to say i would need a Normally ruler it goes like an ass. yeah i would need a ruler and a piece of wood i'm not really sure how all these really straight lines have happened but um, they've turned the table now and they're making little squares. I can see why she's the boss. <laughs> so a little pinch of meat and then all the corners are put together and pinched together. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's a beef meat. Uh, as much as possible, we like to use the uh, beef meat without fat. Oh, this uh, is what it looks like yeah, cooked. Yeah, so they yeah, serve yeah, it yeah. with yogurt. The red is uh, butter with the, uh, sweet paprika. Ah, sweet paprika butter. Yeah. And also some spices. You mm. can have. And there's there's onion and parsley, uh, mix and Salt, seasoning pepper, mixed in, and onion mixed in with the with the meat. Black pepper. Black pepper. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> Salt. Their speciality here is manti. They're known all over the region for this. Okay, Chris, I'm going to ask my mother uh, what we can cook today. Is the real Turkish? Uh, okay, so what your mum says today goes, right? So what are we going to cook today? She gives me the uh, uh, using the technique and uh, how you can make better uh, keshkek. Uh, we actually uh, I just asked can we cook the keshkek and the uh, uh, meat with the chickpeas something like that yeah so, is that very traditional yeah, yeah, yeah. Turkish it's very traditional and oh it's a wedding dish yeah of course that's that's the Turkish wedding yeah. oh in a big pot uh, Turkish weddings uh, if you like to make a traditional one it uh, it means uh, you're going to uh, accept minimum over 1,000 people. Wow! So, so this is this is uh, the simple traditional one. Okay, we've jumped back in Trudy, and we are now heading into town to buy the ingredients that we need to d for today's cook along. Welcome to Kalkan again. That is uh, the place where I used to uh, born and grow up. Uh, when I was, let me say, five, six years old, for instance, this road wasn't a road, it was a river. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I was a river. 100, 100 years old, but I seen all those changes. So this uh, street uh, was completely where the people were look after their animals and feeding them and uh, surround all these buildings, which they were not here the donkeys and uh, the sheep oh cows, wow and, and there was a stream running down here the yeah, water yeah. the water uh, was coming down from here especially after the the, the rain rain although naturally. we still got a little bit this yeah. morning <laughs> <laughs> the water never pointed where you have to go the local butcher here and our crafter mr yusuf <laughs> It's the best butcher in Kalkan. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is one of the best. Mr. Yusuf uh, is the crafter uh, which is in this industry since he is uh, 15 years old. Today we are going to uh, buy some uh, lamb meat. We prefer uh, the lamb meat without uh, fat uh, because we're going to make um, uh, use a slow uh, cook technique. Okay. Uh, that's perfect. Good evening, Gurushris. 
Good night, Good night, dude. These nuts are Marianne's favourites. They are my guilty pleasure. So you're getting a few packets. So we've arrived back at Kalkan Market because we need to buy a few ingredients for today. So the gentleman, Mr. Emin. Good night, Dan. We have a. <laughs> this uh, lovely exhibition. <laughs> so, uh, when you come to the uh, Emin's place, we have to talk about naturally uh, about cheeses and the, uh, the cheese culture in Turkey that uh, maybe most of the people doesn't know it's around the world uh, the Turkish cheeses. And uh, we have a quite deep and a very old uh, culture. Uh, I did a search uh, about 15 years ago about, with my school. So uh, more than uh, 450 different type of cheeses we discovered in Turkey. Wow! Over 200 uh, cheeses exactly made from different type of yeast. Okay, let me I give you the information about the uh, tulum. Uh, but firstly, I would like to explain you what is tulum. Tulum is a, a sort of bag which is made from uh, goat skin, as already you can see here. Uh, the people uh, were using the goat skin uh, like a bag to protect their cheese and the stuff inside and, uh, and use it uh, in their long journeys. The Turkish people were naturally uh, about their lifestyle, it was, they were moving uh, with their animals from point A to point B to feeding their animals, okay? Like a shepherd life, okay? Mm. They all has a two lens, one in the uh, winter time they use, at the seaside and one in the uh, summertime they use up on the hill. On those uh, two places the journey uh, can take uh, sometimes a uh, couple of months. Uh, and naturally while they are doing this uh, journey they should uh, keep their food without spoil. Uh, that technique is uh, rise after a thousand and a thousand years experience with the people. So uh, the goat skin uh, has a very special character which there is a micro holes on it, okay? And it takes out the uh, air but doesn't come to the inside. So oh. stopping the uh, oxidizing, your, so, uh, your cheese doesn't spoil. Oh, that is very important. In Turkish uh, life you can find uh, too many different type of uh, little trick like this. For instance, I like to show you this one. Uh, the people keep their um, uh, butter. What is this? It's a stomach. Oh, in a stomach yes. lining. And I have to say, the smell coming from these cheeses is wonderful. It's so nice to see such a selection of traditional cheeses here in the market. Cheese is my food heaven. I know it's not good for you, but I love cheese and I intend to come back as a mouse. <laughs> in our last video, we were talking about all the beehives and uh, here is some of the local honey. Actually still on the beehive slots. How amazing is that to see? The thing I absolutely love, because all the produce is very local to here, it's still just so fresh and just so authentic. It's not been taken out, mashed up, put in a jar, labelled in a factory somewhere. This has been brought in from one of the local farms or one of the local beehive owners. So that's just so beautiful to see. Looking at all this wonderful local Turkish produce, it is the ideal opportunity to tell you about today's sponsor. We want to say a huge thank you to buyinturkey.com for supporting our around the world drive and for sending us the spices for today's cooking in the van. And they sent us something really special for pudding. For those of you that have been following us for a while on our travels, you will know that we love food. In fact, there's probably many occasions when you want to jump on into your screen and try it with us. Maybe you saw our Turkish breakfast video and you want to try a traditional Turkish breakfast too. Well, now you can because buyinturkey.com will send a traditional breakfast straight to your door. If you haven't heard of buyinturkey.com, they work with the best Turkish brands and probably have the largest selection of luxury Turkish products for distribution outside of Turkey. From clothing, gourmet food and drinks, home and beauty products, 
and antiques. The kind people at buyinturkey.com have offered you, Tread the Globe followers, 15% discount. It's valid for 15 days. All you need to do is use the code Tread the Globe. The link is in the description below. I'm sure it's a bit of Oh, they've got these huge tubs of tomato paste. And pepper paste. And pepper paste. Look, they've got a plated cheese here. Look at that. And uh, all these olives. So we've driven up the mountain, overlooking Kalkan. Look at this. It's a little bit windy today. Uh, Guru's Place, the restaurant that we went this morning, is just there on that corner. And then... That is the town of Kalkan at the bottom of the hill. And here we are cooking. It's a little bit windy. It's a little bit windy. But we're good. We're going to be doing it in the van. It's no problem. We'll make it happen. So we've just spent probably half an hour <laughs> <laughs> trying to park the van with the view and it's so that it's flat so that we can film out the door while we're cooking. <laughs> no, no, it's good. No, 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 the other way. The other way. <laughs> and it's raining. And it's raining now. <laughs> and we're still not flat. <laughs> Ish. I just want to say we found out that it's Hussein's birthday today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Hussein! <laughs> and you've given up your birthday to spend yeah, it in a this small the van. In a small van with us. Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, so we're all organized, aren't we, Chef? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It's very difficult. I think until you're in it, it's really tricky to anticipate how small it experience is. Experience how small it is. Okay, I have a little message all the chefs. Okay. Okay. Don't say I'm a chef before cook in the barn. Okay. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You're we're, not a real chef. You're not a real chef unless, unless you... you've cooked in the van. <laughs> we're we're going to do a series of having uh, celebrity chefs as we go round. Hussein is the first local celebrity chef to cook in our van ever and uh, we're it's super excited to yeah, be cooking so some local traditional Turkish wedding dishes that you too can cook at home yeah, or in or in your van, in your, van. Yeah, in your camper van you only need two gas rings and a sense of humor sense especially of humor. when you're trying to find a flat spot to park up <laughs> thanks for open your home's door for me guys ah you're welcome. welcome thank you very much for coming okay so the two dishes what what is the name of the two dishes uh, we're cooking today keşkek very simple very basic and the old uh, turkish uh, recipe uh, made from the wheat, okay, but the raw uh, wheat we bought uh, for it. And the other one uh, is uh, etli nohut, mm -hmm. uh, very simple, uh, two ingredients main, and the uh, et is meat. Uh, we're going to use the lamb meat, and mm. the other one is the chickpeas. Nice. Okay, we're going to prepare our ingredients first. So I'm going to chop our uh, lamb meat for uh, etli nohut. So this is uh, about 250 grams for three people. Okay. okay. So you can make uh, reach your foods uh, with the more chickpeas or the more, more, more meat. Mm. Depends uh, which one do you prefer much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also you can make this uh, dish without uh, meat ah. uh, or with just with chicken, uh, just with meat or without. Just like a vegan. Okay. Ah, so if, but, okay. Uh, uh, we said it's a, a special dish in the uh, wedding. Mm -hmm. So uh, for make rich their guest who comes for the wedding. Oh, okay. okay. People add meat inside. Uh, okay. Okay. So okay. perfect. And you soaked these um, chickpeas yesterday. Yeah. The, uh, you just uh, rest it inside the uh, cold water. Oh, cold okay. water. Okay. Yeah. And then you uh, boil it. Just yeah. boiled Boil until, until it's soft. It's, uh, become as soft as like this. Oh, when okay. you press the skin coming out. Yeah. That's a mighty fine knife you've got there, chef. <laughs> Never upset a chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me I uh, cut the meat first. Okay. okay. So very. So this uh, big size is good. If you have uh, time uh, to boil uh, your meat. Uh, you can also use the uh, beef meat as well. We prefer lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, uh, in my region, uh, Kash, Kalkan, Bezirgan, that region, mm -hmm. we uh, like to use goat. 
Yes, we're going to boil the wheat. So, which we said, name of this is uh, Budai. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a measure, yeah. So just think like this. Uh, one hand. Okay. This is like. Uh, let me say one person or oh. just for okay. one portion and it's basically just just raw wheat yeah yeah beautiful yeah we don't actually have any scales in the van so uh, and of course a professional chef doesn't weigh anything they just know how much to put in <laughs> so yeah. we'll, we'll gauge it so you can see it for for yourself so we add boiling I, water yeah, i'm going to add the uh, boiling water inside because I'm going to uh, make it uh, like a puree. Ah, uh, okay. That's the end. Uh, so we're going to just keep cooking it until it exactly. goes really soft. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Until it's going to be like cream. So we will boil it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. And season with a little salt. Yeah. First, we slice, then we're going to chop it. Okay. We've also just added a stock cube. Uh, you can use vegetable stock or beef stock or chicken stock into the wheat just and to also, give a bit of flavor. Also, uh, if you like to make a rich, much more rich, uh, your recipe, you can add the chicken breast inside. Ah. Okay, at the end, but this is completely optional. So I'm going to use strongly olive oil. Yeah. Olive oil. And then I'm going to a little uh, bit of vegetable. Vegetable oil. But if you only had one oil, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't but matter. It doesn't just matter. A... Because uh, if you think your uh, olive oil too strong, yeah, okay, flavor. So uh, sometimes you know the Riviera. Is yeah, like a blend. very strong. Yeah, uh, the Virgin is extra strong uh, flavor there is it's covering the taste of the food uh, okay so if you don't want it you yeah. just mix it blend make create your own blend okay okay so i'm going to add the uh, onion inside okay so we call uh, my mother uh, or the local ladies calling name of this operation okay uh, boss chalamak boss chalamak okay we do okay do you want them to go a little bit brown, mm -hmm. get a bit of flavor? It's, it's going to be uh, not exactly brown, uh, turn a little yellow, sweating. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if it's turned the coffee color brown, uh, the taste is going to be caramelized. Okay. So, uh, but that's what we don't want. Okay. Right perfect. Now for this food. So I just like light, lightly, it. lightly colored. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we have a pretty good view today out of the, the side window. Look at that. And the sun is just coming out. The onions are starting to smell the van. It smells delicious, chef. Uh, color turn your onions. You okay, see? so just turned yellow. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to add the uh, meat right now inside. Okay. Okay. So the lamb goes in. The tomato paste I'm using, that is going to make our dish thicker. Ah, okay. Okay, and uh, the paprika, sweet paprika, I'm going to add, okay? Yeah. Which is going to give a color our dish. Ah, okay. This is for color. That's the uh, reason why I use that. So we've got uh, some sweet paprika there, which oh, is not yeah. hot. Yeah. So once the, uh, the lamb is cooked a little bit and it's not red anymore. Yeah. Now, then we're going to add in I'm just going to add... And then how much are we going to add? Like that. Look. One tablespoon's worth there. And we're going to check it. Oh, we steamed up. If we need more, we can add more, okay? Okay, so it's about one big spoon there. Now, I'm going to add the chickpeas. Okay. Let me so see. then we're adding, adding all the chickpeas in. All the chickpeas. I make a rich uh, food for you today. Lovely. So can, can you see how healthy this is? Yeah. So and very simple. And very simple. And it's uh, the food. Uh, Did you put all the chickpeas in? Uh -huh. All the chickpeas, I guess. All the chickpeas. It's about 500 grams, something like that. So now we add the paprika. A couple of teaspoons. Couple of heat teaspoons Jesus. just to give it okay. some flavor. Now I am color. sure every single stuff and ingredients mm. are mixed. Okay. Yeah. 
and I do not like to mix it a lot uh, because I don't want to kill the chickpeas. Oh, you don't want to break them up yeah, into yeah, nothing. No, 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 I don't yeah. want to break them. So don't now, over stir. Yes. <laughs> now I'm going to add the uh, hot water. Okay, add some hot water. Mm -hmm. This is will be very juicy. Yeah. The, t the color is, uh, if, uh, if you think it's not enough red, we can add more red paprika, okay? Okay, so it's about uh, probably two one... Finger past two fingers past everything. And I'm going to uh, add just a little bit more uh, paprika. If yeah. we add more than how much we need, it's going to change the taste, okay? Yeah. This color is not bad. This not color, bad. okay. Just uh, somebody uh, likes really red. Yeah. Uh, we, we like a little bit uh, light red. Light red. Okay. Just, so a, just little a little bit more. So another another teaspoon yeah. going in. Yeah. And then you just let that simmer for a while. Yeah. It's going to slowly, slowly be ready by himself. Okay. Then just season a little bit with some salt. Mm -hmm. Now we are uh, playing with our mouth. It's completely about the creating the great flavor and the taste. Okay. The fish. So I'm going to add one clove. Yeah, one is. If the food is, you know, our pot is not too big. Yeah. This so for this one is, clove yeah. of garlic, we're just putting in yeah. slices. Mm -hmm. We put in one bay leaf and a nice sprinkle of black pepper. So the wheat's been boiling away. Uh, the water's gone down below the level of the, the, the wheat. It's not quite done yet, so we're just gonna boil a little bit of water and add it so we can boil it a little bit more. It should be nice and soft. So we're just topping the water up again and we've just added a knob of butter just to make it a little bit more flavorsome. Okay. So we've got our power oak power bank on the bed there and it comes in handy because we bought a new blender necessity right chef I don't <laughs> this. so there you go so we just add some more water just to keep it a nice creamy consistency okay so this is the final consistency you're looking for nice and thick but smooth so now we're just melting a nice big knob of butter there yeah. we've added a couple of pinches of this sweet paprika into the butter so we've just we've got the wheat on the plate here and we've just poured over all the butter and paprika mix that we've done Ooh. that looks and smells absolutely delicious that was uh, my uh, walnuts here walnuts, walnuts yep. yeah oh what are we putting the walnuts in it's coming here oh and then we top it with crushed walnuts wowzers Smell that. So there's the lamb dish there. Oh, yeah. it smells so good. It's always a little bit tight in the van. We've got little blocks of wood that we use. So this is perfect for putting the uh, the pan on. And as always, before we eat, we're feeding the local dog that just walked past. He's so hungry. So I'm really looking forward to trying this wheat. So let's just give this a go. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. It's nutty and buttery. It gives it the flavor, doesn't it? It wouldn't be the same without that butter that's been put into it. That's really good. And then we're just gonna give the, the chickpeas a go. Look yeah, at, it's, very hot. it's hot, okay. <laughs> chickpeas and lamb. If you, uh, that is really good. A nice, rich sauce. Garlic, paprika, chickpeas. We dunk, gonna dunk some bread in it, and that is a perfect meal. That and that combined with some bread. Nutritious, healthy, warming, and above all, it's traditionally Turkish. And you can cook it in the van. And it's for a wedding. I feel like we need to <laughs> go to a married? wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an absolute delicious meal, and we are very lucky to be finishing such a wonderful meal with something very Turkish. The guys from Buy in Turkey have sent us a very special package. We have the most amazing baklava. How good does that look? They've also sent us this amazing box 
of Turkish delight. Look, let's open that. Oh. How amazing does that look? I've never seen Turkish delight look so beautiful. Is that pistachios? Yeah, it's pistachios, and almonds, almonds rose, rose petals, and kadayuf. Nice. Uh, coconut. Coconut. Nice. And oh, saffron. Saffron. Yes. Pomegranate. And, and then this one. I don't know. Coconut mm -hmm. and something yeah, else. Is, that is pistachio and uh, oh, grape, you, grape juice. Oh, oh. You can see. Grape molasses. In fact, if I do that, now, now we're, we're talking. Look, <laughs> look at that. What's inside those? Look at the color of this. Oh my God. Oh la la. It's so, <laughs> it is so sticky. Look at that. I've never seen baklava this color, but I'm going to give it a go. Mm. What is really nice about this is it's not over sweet. You know how some baklavas you taste and they're like so sweet. And the, this one is subtle sweet. Let me you're curious, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you're right. That's, Have you seen this color that's, before? That's also going to be a uh, first time ever in my life. Uh, the purple color, I used other things, but never in the baklava. Oh. Mm. So let it's me a see. special, yeah. it's, a very, it's a very special one. Mm. It's really good, isn't it? Good job. This is real baklava. Yeah, you have a very good connection, guys. Buying Turkey, you're gonna get a call from Hussein. He likes your baklava. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find baklava all over Turkey, but not like this. This is a very high quality baklava. You just heard it from a chef himself. Marianne's gonna try a Turkish delight. So I think I'm going for a pistachio. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. That's nice. They oh. gently cut it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's already pre-cut, isn't it? Yeah. Smells really sweet oh. and grapey. Uh, How is that? Mm. That ticks all the boxes when it comes to. Wow. Good quality Turkish delight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to hear a Turkish man's, a Turkish chef's opinion of one of the Turkish delight. If Which one are you going to try, Hussein? Rose one. Okay. Rose one. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is delicious. Wow. The outside they covered with the rose leaves, rose flower leaves, and inside still there is a lovely, nice, pretty pistachio. Mm. Mm. Good combination. And and it's like a sweet rose, but it's not sickly. Sometimes you can only have one or two wow. when you buy them. But this... Guys, this is Porsche. Mm. So this is the Porsche of Turkish delight. This is Porsche, I can say. Seriously. Mm. Thank you, my friend. It's, it's been a pleasure. Let me I take my jumper. Yeah, and I take your knives knife. for sure. Yes. Guess what we're doing? Yes, we are eating again. As if we haven't eaten enough today. <laughs> but we thought the video wouldn't be complete unless we headed back to Guru's place to try a portion of the manti. Having watched the ladies actually hand make it this morning and then they've literally just dropped it in and cooked it fresh for us now. We're excited, even though we're still full from <laughs> we are very full. glass, <laughs> we're excited to taste it. I've got to say that the smell coming off is a really rich, warm, yogurty smell coming from the yogurt that's been put on the manti. And then on top, there's butter and paprika. Oh, look at that. Actually, I'm going to get one more because they look so nice. The yogurt is quite sharp, but with the paprika and the butter, it suddenly feels really even rich and smooth. Then the, the pasta from the manti is quite thin. It's not thick and heavy because the proportions you think it would be, but it's not. And the meat is incredibly herby, really flavoursome and fragrant. <laughs> Mm. It's one of those warm, rich, comforting tastes. That's delicious. <laughs> you know what's really good about this? <laughs> <laughs> is that the sugar has already no. hit your head <laughs> and all over the chair. 
Ninja. It's on your shoe. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's on your shoe. Oh. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> One man in a van is enough. <laughs> two is too much. <laughs> These two have got on far too well. <laughs> <laughs>